Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss the topic of reference autocomplete columns. So what is reference autocomplete columns? As you can see on the screen, we have an incident form and on the incident form, we have multiple reference type fields like caller, service, service offering, configuration item, assignment group and assigned to. What is a reference field? Reference field are those fields which refer the other table like caller refer the user table getting the data from the user table assignment group refer the group table getting the data from the group table okay so that is what reference field is now what is reference autocomplete columns so if in the caller we remove some of the letters from the name we are going to see a pop-up in this pop-up we can see the caller name as well as the email id okay these are the reference autocomplete columns first column is name column second column is email column this helps us in selecting the correct caller okay similarly this will help us in selecting the correct configuration item or service or service offering so if in configuration item we type server so in the pop-up we can see which particular configuration item we have to select with the help of reference autocomplete columns okay now the client or the customer comes to the team and says that for the caller field, reference autocomplete columns has to be added. Like the clients want to add or the customer wants to add the title as well as the department of the caller. So how we can develop that particular functionality? We are going to see it with the help of a demo. And whatever we are going to see with the help of a demo is applicable on all the reference type field. Okay, it will be applicable on service, service offering, configuration item, assignment group or assigned to. For this demo, we are going to take the example of caller field. Okay. So let's open the form of a caller. So as caller field reference the user table. So this is our record in user table. And from here, we have to get the title as well as the department in the reference autocomplete columns here. Okay, the title and the department. So let's begin the demo for that. All you have to do is that go back to that particular field. Here we have caller. Right click on the label and go to configure dictionary. Now we can see the configure dictionary form is open for the caller field. And here we are seeing attributes field. This is the particular field that you have to update with the correct attributes. So the attribute we are going to use is ref underscore ac underscore columns. Basically, this is the short form for reference autocomplete columns. Okay. Now here we are going to add the columns that we are going to display in the pop-up. So we have to go to the user table record and we can see the title and department and we have to add the backend name of the fields not the label remember that so how we can check what is the backend name of the field right click on the label of the field and this is the backend name of the field okay or the system name we can say for the department this is the one okay now let's go back to our field and add the department column and 
सेमी कॉलन टाइटल ओके अपडेट Now we are going to open the incident form. Incident dot list. Now what we are going to do is that we are going to remove some of the letters from the caller field. So if we remove it, we can see in the pop-up the name of the caller, the department as well as the title. Okay. But you might be noticed where is the email? It was coming before, but right now it is not coming. Okay. So this you have to remember if you want the email column also. So you have to manually add the email column. So we have to go back to the configuration of caller field now we are going to configure the dictionary for it again and we are going to add the email column here the backend or the system name of the email field so if we see what is the backend name of it it is email okay now let's update it and remove some of the letters now we can see the name department title and the email of the caller okay so that's how we can add more columns using the reference autocomplete columns and this will help us in selecting the correct record from the table okay and one more thing is that if you want to change the order of it so you have to write the names of the field in that order right now the order is name department title and email so if you want to change the order you have to configure the attribute according to that so if you go back to the configure dictionary of the caller field here we are saying department title and email so if you want to change the order we can do this like title then department then email here this will be not colon it must be semicolon okay update and if we remove some of the letters now we can see that the title comes before department okay so that's how we can rearrange the order of the columns okay so if you like this video do share the videos with others subscribe the channel for more videos like this thank you for watching this video bye bye